What's up guys, this is the Klim Everest and Klim Ultimate, and today I'm going to review and compare these laptop cooling pads. In this review I will summarise the main features of these laptop cooling pads and provide a comparison of their performance based on real world testing. Although they serve the same purpose, these laptop cooling pads are quite different in their design. The Klim Everest has two small but high powered fans that operate at a maximum of 4300 RPM. The air is drawn in from the rear of the unit, through an air filter, and directed beneath the laptop. The Klim Everest has a detachable foam layer that acts as a seal to create a high pressure area beneath the laptop, forcing cool air through its internal components. The Klim Everest is only compatible with laptops that have ventilation openings underneath, therefore it's not compatible with laptops such as Apple MacBooks. Furthermore, the Klim Everest is only compatible with laptops ranging from 14 to 17.3 inches. This being said, I have a 16 inch gaming laptop, but due to the large fans positioned at the rear, the foam seal did not align with the ventilation openings beneath the laptop. This meant that I had to reposition the laptop, which caused it to clash with the front stopper and overhang the display and the control panel. Not ideal. The Klim Everest has two USB ports which can be used with other devices such as external keyboards, and it has seven levels of height adjustment. If, like me, your laptop has its fan exhaust at the rear, the Klim Everest has two small heat deflectors which deflect the hot air from your laptop away from the air intake. However, due to the angle and the position of the air intake, I wonder if this reduces or restricts airflow through the system. In comparison, the Klim Ultimate has one large 200mm diameter fan that operates at a maximum of 750 RPM. The fan is positioned directly beneath the laptop and simply draws in a large volume of air to cool the underside of your laptop. The Klim Ultimate has four levels of height adjustment and is compatible with all laptops up to 17.3 inches. Both of these cooling pads have RGB lighting. However, the lighting on the Everest is only at the front and the rear of the cooling pad, whereas the Ultimate has continuous lighting around the edge. I prefer the lighting of the Ultimate, but this is just personal preference. To test the laptop cooling pads, I use my MSI GP68 gaming laptop whilst using the MSI Afterburner to monitor the temperature of the CPU and the GPU. To ensure the test was consistent, I played the same game, repeated the same mission and maintained the same settings. For each test, I played the game for 20 minutes to allow the laptop to reach a steady operating temperature. Then, I recorded the CPU and GPU temperature for 20 minutes whilst continuing to play the game. I then repeated this test while using each of the cooling pads. During the test, the cooling pads were set to the same height and were set to their maximum speed. The ambient room temperature was also measured and remained constant throughout the test. The results of the test show that the laptop without a cooling pad operated with an average CPU and GPU temperature of 68 degrees and 59 degrees Celsius respectively. With the introduction of the Klim Ultimate, the laptop operated with an average CPU and GPU temperature of 60 degrees and 51 degrees Celsius respectively, an average reduction of 8 degrees Celsius. With the introduction of the Klim Everest, the laptop operated with an average CPU and GPU temperature of 56 and 50 degrees Celsius respectively, an average reduction of 10.5 degrees Celsius. The results of the test show that both laptop cooling pads help to reduce the average CPU and GPU temperature, but the Klim Everest provided 20% better cooling performance compared to the Klim Ultimate. However, during the test, the Klim Everest was noticeably louder than the Klim Ultimate, which may be a deciding factor for some people. I personally prefer the overall design of the Klim Ultimate, as it is quieter, and it is more compatible with the size of my gaming laptop. It is clear that both cooling pads have their advantages and disadvantages. I hope this review and comparison has helped you decide which cooling pad is right for you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this review. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a great day.